Hey Capricorn, welcome to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon. I will be guiding you through today's reading. This is the first of the dailies that I'll be doing for the rest of December as a Christmas present from me to you. So I hope this uh, resonates for you. If it does, you can like, share, subscribe, show me a little support there energetically. Today we're going to be talking about a transformation. We have the death card in reverse as the first card out for you guys. So you're going through it right now. You are looking at ways that you need to change. It's just like the winds of change are in the air and you're feeling like it's something that you can't ignore. You need to go through this change. You're seeing the outward manifestation of things beginning to change around you and it's like, are you going to evolve with it? It's like the situation is calling for that. Let's take a look at what the challenge is that you're facing during this transformation. Capricorn's life is being transformed. I mean, any one of these cards could be the challenge. Uh, transformation is not easy. We have the Ace of Potions, Ace of Cups. So this tells me that it's like in the movies. It feels like you've met someone that is inspiring you to become a better version of yourself. It's like, wow, this person is living their life in an amazing way. And I love being in their energy. So when you are back in your own personal energy, you're like, you're taking another look at it like, huh, well, maybe this isn't making me feel so good. And maybe that isn't making me feel so good. It's not like this person is placing expectations on you. They're inspiring you. Let's take a look at... Totally. Your focus, the devil in reverse. It's exactly what we were just talking about. How can I release the things that have been holding me back from feeling that ace of cups? From feeling the way that I feel when I'm around them. Now, for some of you, this isn't going to be an actual person that you've come into contact with. It may be like a, a character in a movie or a character in a book that's inspiring you. Um, I feel like for most of you, it is a, a, a an actual human being that you're you're coming into contact with, but we're all going through different phases of our lives. So how you how this energy is playing out in your life may differ from the examples that I'm giving. In your recent past, leading you up to this situation, we have the Empress. Okay. I feel like this is the person. I feel like you've recently been exposed to someone whose energy is so impressive that it's inspiring you to want to embody more of your own Empress energy. It's like they just exude self-confidence. It's introducing you into a new way of expression in the world, a new way of being that you really admire. And you're feeling like that could be it for me. I might just be able to become more like that. And I think I would really like that for me. Let's take a look at the energy of the environment. Oh, I'm getting chills, you guys. The energy of the environment around you is the nine of swords in reverse. This is the end of grief, the end of sleepless nights, the end of worry, the end of um, beating yourself up over things. Universe just wants you to release all of that. So it's it's helping you through this process to let go of those things that are like nagging you. In the near future, we have temperance in reverse. So this is some deep level soul healing. And it's also saying, um, how to put this? Temperance stands for patience. In the reverse, it's saying patience won't be necessary. So what that tells me is that 
you may be expecting for this to be a long, grueling process. What the cards are saying, if that's your expectation, what the cards are saying, this is going to go faster than you expect. This upgrade, this healing, this um, letting in more of your higher self, embodying more of your full potential. It's like, okay, the other part of the reversal is that you'll, you're going to... Um, like just become a, a clear channel for it. Like you're you're going to remove all obstacles in a manner that just like <laughs> what kind of a metaphor do I want to use here? It just um, it flows much more freely because you will be open to it. Let's take a look at your surprise energy. Something's going to come in and influence the situation and you don't see it coming. Ten of Swords in reverse. This is lovely because the energy of the environment right now we have is the Nine of Swords in reverse. It's the needles in this deck. I just I feel like saying swords at the moment. This is an ending of an ideology. This is I'm not playing with those thoughts anymore. It can be mind games. It can be just the, the lies we tell ourselves. Whatever it is that's plaguing you, that's keeping you from believing that you can be more, that you can do more, that you can embody more of your higher self. Now, the fact that it's coming in as your surprise energy, oh, let me clarify. How is this surprise? Is it just that they don't think they can achieve this? Or is it going to be in the manner in which it happens? Tell me more about the surprise element of this. Why is it a surprise? It, the timing is going to surprise you. Because you, you've had some near misses with this. Um, you've been on the precipice of uh, this sort of um, mental achievement. That's a weird way to put it, but I, hopefully you know what I'm getting at. In the past, in a way that you've cycled through before. See the, the spiral here? You've been around this curve before, and so it's feeling a little familiar, and you're like, um, I, I have a sense of how this is going to play out. So the Wheel of Fortune says everything in divine timing and it's also about karma. So there's something in this that you've, um, either in this life or in past lives, you've you've paid into the system, so to speak, in a very um, like simplified manner of speaking, and then you're about to reap some rewards, some karmic rewards. The way this is gonna surprise you is gonna be in the timing. Let's see your hopes and fears. The cards are being funny with me. They're saying, yeah, there are fears. <laughs> You're afraid of the unknown. You're afraid of um, exploring the depths of your soul. <laughs> I mean, it's a heavy undertaking. So, you know, no no harm in... in uh, in owning that. I think that's human nature. But it's the journey of exploration. It's the, the dark night of the soul. It's saying, I have a shadow side and I'm ready to look at it. I'm ready to acknowledge it and make friends with it and integrate it. That's exactly what we're talking about with temperance in reverse, integrating your shadow so that you can embody more of your higher self. It's... um. Uh, I'm going to get really uh, weird for some of you right now, but it's the Fibonacci cycle. It's you can't move forward until you embody what's uh, just before, add it to yourself, and then you become the next step in the chain. That's totally <laughs> the next step in the in the cycle. Okay. I know some of you are going to be like, what? <laughs> Okay, maybe that re if that resonates for you, tell me. I'd love to know if any of my viewers are feeling that Fibonacci tip. 
Okay, let's see the end result. Ooh. Okay, Spirit wants to talk now. We have three cards. They're all in reverse. We have the Knight of Cups, the, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. Knight of Cups is on top, so it's the strongest energy. So this is you being prepared to take action even when you're unsure of how you feel about things. Trusting that you don't need to cling to the security of the past. That's the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Saying, I can ease up with ease up my grip, my tight hold on what I have going on for me right now in order to take the steps, make the transformation and become something more. The Ten of Cups in reverse tells me that your idea of happiness, your vision for utopia, for the happiest you could possibly be, is shifting. And at the end of this journey, you will be different enough that your idea of happiness is going to be new. And the fact that it's here says that it's within grasp. It's just, it's there for you to discover because it's in the reverse. So it's not going to immediately drop in your lap, but the, the concept of it is going to become clear so that you can manifest it into reality. Let's get you some advice. How can my Capricorns best make use of this energy? We have Justice and the Six of Swords in reverse. Okay. There's something that you're going to have to revisit that you'd um, removed yourself from because it wasn't healthy for you. Now, the universe is going to line this up for you. It's not something that you should go out of your way to seek. This is something that's going to present a, an opportunity to have closure on something is going to present itself and you should take it because it's instrumental in your transformation. It's like you're going to start to see yourself differently because of how you respond to this stimulus. Your opportunity for karmic justice is going to present itself, but it's going to come through perhaps something that you're going to want to avoid. And that's why I'm trying to highlight this energy. This six of needles or six of swords energy in the reverse means that you've left behind something that was turbulent, something that was unsettling, something that kept your emotions topsy-turvy. You could never really get a, a, a sure footing on life. So you may have left that situation yesterday. You may have left it 10 years ago. It could be any length of time here. This is something from the past that will crop up again. Could be someone saying, hey, how are you doing? Do you want to hang out? And or do you want to talk or whatever? Or, you know, you've been on my mind. I'd really love to reconnect. It's not necessarily that, but it's some way that your past is going to resurface. I'm getting for some of you, it's going to be a mother energy. So it could be a parent, a mother or grandmother was what it feels like. Could be um, like reigniting something that you're like, oh, I'm not that person anymore. I've never been the person that you thought I was, you know, that sort of like, um, I'm an adult now, you need to respect me as such. And uh, something, there's some way that by reconnecting with this past element, you're just going to demonstrate to yourself and to the universe who you've become and who you're going to be moving forward. All right, guys, I hope this helped. You guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see y'all back tomorrow. Bye.